Today we're going to take a look at how to carry out some cost saving measures within GrabCAD print. So here we have a uh, finger pointer uh, type design. This is uh, a rather large model and uh, the first thing that uh, we can do is to take a look at the parts orientation to identify if it's the uh, most optimum. So we can go to arrange and we have here a standard arrange tray and that will take the part and move it into the best position for printing. However there is another option here if I go on this checkbox for optimize it will uh, arrange the part to be in its uh, most optimum printing from a material consumption and print time point of view. So if we take a look at the uh, estimate for uh, this part as it is we can see that we have a printing time of one day nine hours, uh, 2,900 grams of model material and 900 grams of support material. So first thing to do is, as I said, let's carry out this optimize to see if that's going to change our parts orientation. And as I said, this is going to orientate the part for uh, maximum efficiency and here we have the part in its new orientation. If we carry out an estimate we can see that the uh, printing time has been reduced by about four hours. We have also uh, lower material consumption both in the model material and in the uh, support material. So the reason for there being a reduction in the model material consumption as well as the support material consumption is that we place a structure of model material within the support to provide extra strength. If I go here to my model settings I go to more settings we can see we've got this support strength option. So we have here uh, three different levels of strength got light, standard and heavy. Uh, heavy is typically good for flexible materials. Uh, standard would be uh, for uh, regular type structures and light would be for small delicate models. Um, the, the reason for the different settings is to ensure model accuracy and to reduce the chance of curling occurring during printing. So for if this model was a large flat surface I may be concerned that during printing there would be curling. Here this type of model I'm not overly concerned about geometrical accuracy so if I'm looking to reduce my costs further I could change the support strength to light. Now another uh, thing that I can do is because the support material is uh, at a lower cost to my model material I can print our model hollow so uh, it will be filled with the support material and will have a coating of the model material along with the assigned color uh, on the outside. So at the moment I can't select hollow because the materials that I have selected for the printer are the vivid materials. The vivid materials by default are, uh, well, first off the vivid materials are transparent but in order to achieve an opaque part by default GrabCAD print places them around a white core. So the first thing to do is to uh, enable the transparency. This will remove the white core from the part and that will enable me to apply the hollow rule and I can adjust the coating thickness. So let me change that uh, say from one millimeter to two millimeter. It's quite a large part so I'm going to want a nice sturdy wall. The final technique that we will take a look at today is the option to reduce the size of the model as well so it takes less time and uh, uses less material to print. So if I go here to scale I could scale the, uh, the model down um, say by half and then this is now going to be a shorter uh, print and use uh, considerably less material as well. Fantastic! Now we can send this part to print.